Greetings, my name is Ben Miller and I'm a senior attorney at MNK Law. At MNK Law, we draft and review many types of contracts for our clients. And an important part of this process is planning and preparing for what happens if things go unexpectedly and litigation becomes necessary. In this video, I'll briefly discuss several important provisions in a Master Services Agreement, or MSA. MSAs are commonly used by service provider businesses that sell their services to other customer businesses. If the customer doesn't timely pay or misuses the services, the terms of the MSA, if properly drafted, can control the nature and consequences of any resulting litigation. Here are some examples of specific provisions to refine in anticipation of litigation. First, intellectual property ownership. The service provider should include a clause to ensure that all of its intellectual property used in the provision of services remains under the exclusive ownership of the service provider. By virtue of receiving services, the customer will likely have access to certain intellectual property associated with particular services. A common example of this is source code, but it also includes the service provider's methodologies, processes, techniques, data, and more. If the MSA clearly states that the service provider remains the exclusive owner of and retains all rights with respect to its intellectual property, the service provider will be better equipped to bring legal action in the event of customer misappropriation of intellectual property. Second, late payment. The MSA should have a clear process and time period for invoices to be disputed before they become final, with clear payment deadlines for final invoices before the imposition of late payment penalties. These penalties can incentivize a customer to pay what is owed rather than engage in a protracted litigation while the penalties continue to accumulate. Further, the MSA should require that the customer reimburse the service provider for all attorney's fees and costs incurred in collecting any late payments. Finally, if a customer is late on a payment, the MSA should allow the service provider to suspend the provision of services until payment is made. Next, escrow accounts. If the MSA calls for the development and delivery of software code for a project, the MSA should contain an escrow agreement to ensure that the payment is collected before the customer receives critical source code. As the service provider completes critical parts of the project, the source code should be held by escrow before distribution to the customer pending confirmation of payment. This will prevent the unfortunate situation where a product is delivered to the customer only for the customer to wrongfully abscond with the product without fulfilling all payment obligations. Next, choice of law, form selection, and arbitration. Although these provisions are often separate standalone paragraphs in an MSA, their impacts in litigation are closely tied. A service provider's MSA should specify a favorable forum and applicable law, such as the home jurisdiction of its trusted attorney in Los Angeles or Orange County, California. Alternatively, the MSA can require all conflicts to be resolved through an arbitration procedure instead of court. Arbitration clauses should be carefully drafted to eliminate any ambiguities that could delay the process or impact the party's ability to conduct important discovery of evidence. Finally, prevailing party attorney's fees and costs. If forced to commence litigation to collect payment from a customer or enforce other provisions of the MSA, a service provider's attorney's fees will quickly add up. Customers and wrongdoers who are aware of this may intentionally delay proceedings in hopes that you will not wish to incur such fees and give up the effort. To counter this, the MSA should include a paragraph that awards attorney's fees and costs to the prevailing party of any action brought under the MSA. All of these clauses, if properly drafted, will enhance a service provider's ability to swiftly resolve issues that may arise under the MSA. Further, these provisions can provide valuable leverage in settlement negotiations if the parties commence litigation. This is just a brief overview of some common provisions in a master services agreement that can have a sizable impact on any resulting litigation. If you would like further information on an MSA, please contact us at info at mnklawyers.com or visit us at mnklawyers.com. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video.